Okay, I'm underneath the car now with the hitch fastened on. So when you're fastening it up, I just used a clamp right there uh, to get underneath of it and clamp it on. It goes right up in there. Do the same thing on the other side to kind of hold it in place. Gives you some, some ability to move it around. So what I'm looking for, at least what I did on mine, like I have a box frame here, and I, I think they're all going to be a box frame in some way or another. But but I pretty much lined the face of this up with the inside of the frame. It's pretty close. Um, and then you go down and then check the other side. And also, I, I pretty much lined that up. Maybe maybe my hitch was a little bit rearward. That, that would be backwards, the rearward. A little bit rearward because the bumper is like right here. So, so maybe you push the hitch a little bit backwards so that there's maybe about three-eighths of the original frame right here. You know, it's not quite in line with, with, uh, with it. Anyway, and so down here, same thing. Um, you can see it's pretty much in line with it there. Pretty much, and that's what you're, and that's where you got, you know, it fits pretty good. You know, earlier I said to kind of bend these inward. You don't have to really bend them inward. They just need to be straight because when they're new, made for the Jeep, it angles out just slightly in that direction, and you just need to straighten them up, bend them over, and straighten them up. And as you can see, here's the original holes on the frame, and you can see that well, it really won't work. You're right there on the edge. So I drilled holes on the inside and it pretty much puts me almost like right in the center. And the other beautiful thing about this is that, that these holes right here, you can access the bolts, the holes that I say, but you can access the head of the bolts through here pretty easily to bolt it on. But here it's a box frame. So you couldn't access it, but thankfully the factory put this hole in there, right there, and there's the same one on the other side, same way. And thankfully your bolt lines right up with that, like with that hole right there, you, you can see. So when you get the hitch, they, they originally want you to put these, they give you two of these and they originally wanted them to go on the back, but, but don't do that. Put these on the front because otherwise you will have a hell of a time getting a wrench up in that hole. So you put these in there, keeps the bolt from spinning, you know, and a half and a half inch and drop them down in there. And then you can put the nuts on it there. Like I said here, you can access it with the wrench right above. So that way being the back. So anyway, it like as you can see, it fits pretty good. Like I said, 